Yahukanan John 2. And the third day, there was a marriage in Canaan of Galil. And the mother of Yahusha was there. And both Yahusha was called and his Talmudim to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Yahusha said unto him, They have no wine. Yahusha said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with you? My hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Yahudim, containing two or three measures apiece. Yahusha said unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bore it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and said unto him, Every man at the beginning sets forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Yahusha in Canaan of Galil, and manifested forth his glory, and his Talmudim believed on him. After this he went down to Kafar Nachum, he and his mother, and his brethren, and his Talmudim, and they continued there not many days. And Yahuwah's Pichach, which the Yahudim observed, was at hand, and Yahusha went up to Yerushalayim, and found in the temple those that sold oxen, and sheep, and doves, and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep, and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his Talmudim remembered that it was written, The zeal of your house has eaten me up. Then answered the Yahudim and said unto him, What sign show you unto us, seeing that you do these things? Yahusha answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Yahudim, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and will you rear it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his Talmudim remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Yahusha had said. Now, when he was in Yerushalayim at the Pichach in the first day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Yahusha did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man.